Today's video is on applications to difference equations. So this topic is from jet transforms. So in today's video, I am going to solve a problem that is using z transforms solve y n plus 2 plus 2 times of y n plus 1 plus y n is equal to n. Given conditions are y0 and y1 are 0. See, in order to solve this problem, we have to consider. So let z of y n. z of y n is equal to capital Y of z. And z of y n plus 1 can be written as z times of y of z minus y0. Clear? And next one, z times of y n plus 2 can be written as z square times of this is y of z minus y naught minus y1 by z. So we have to substitute all these whenever it is necessary. So from the given question, so what is the equation given? So the given equation is like this y n plus 2 plus 2 times of y n plus 1 plus y n is equal to n. Now we have to take z transforms on both sides see here taking z transforms on both sides so after taking z transforms on both sides so what happens here so z transform of z transform of y n plus 2 plus 2 times of y n plus 1 plus yn is equal to this is z transform of n clear now i am going to substitute all these values in place of z n plus 2 i am writing z square see here this is z square times of capital y of z minus y naught minus y1 by z plus 2 times of in place of y n plus 1 i am substituting z times of See here, this is 2 times of z times of y of z minus this is y naught plus z transform of y n. So, what is uh, z transform of y n? It is capital y of z. See, and z of n value is equal to z by, so this is z by z minus 1 whole square. Now I have to substitute all the values. So what are the values given? So here the conditions are y0 and y1 are 0. So now if I substitute y0 as 0 and y1 as 0 and see what remains here. That is z square times of y of z minus 0 minus 0 plus 2z times of y of z minus 0 plus this is y of z is equal to z by this is z minus 1 whole square. Now the equation will become z squared of y of z plus 2z into y of z plus this is y of z is equal to z by this is z minus 1 whole square. And see if I take this y of z common from this if I take y of z common here, then what remains? So this will be z square plus 2z plus 1 of y of z is equal to this is z by this is z by this is z minus 1 whole square. So this value is nothing but z plus 1 whole square into y of z is equal to this is z by z minus 1 whole square. And see, if I am sending this to other side and z to other side, then this will be yz by z is equal to 1 by 1 by this is z minus 1. So, this is z minus 1 whole square into z plus 1 whole square. Clear? And now, using partial fractions, I will resolve this into partial fractions. So, this can be written as... So, this can be written as y of z by z. So, y of z by z is equal to a times of. So, have to split into partial fractions z minus 1 plus this is b times of z minus 1 whole square plus c times of 
this is z plus 1 this is z plus 1 plus d times of this is z plus 1 whole square now i need the values of a b c and d see it's very clear that so we have to select z of y of n z of y n plus 1 z of y n plus 2 and we have to substitute all these in the equation and after applying z transforms and substituting here are the conditions y naught and y1 are 0 so if i substitute uh, y naught as 0 and y1 as 0 and this is the equation remind so after taking y of z common from this equation so this is z square plus 2z plus 1 which is nothing but z plus 1 whole square if i send this to other side and i uh, send z to this side and this is the equation that is y of z by z is equal to 1 by z minus 1 square by into z plus 1 square so here we need the values of a b c and d and in order to get the values and let me explain you as it is a lengthy question see here so this is the equation so first of all i have to take the lcm for this and i have to balance all this that is a times of z minus 1 into z plus 1 whole square this is b times of z plus 1 whole square and next one this is c times of z plus 1 into z minus 1 whole square plus d times of z minus 1 whole square after cancelling the denominators so this is the equation remind so 1 equals this whole thing 1 equals this whole thing and next in order to get the values here is a substitution if i keep z is equal to 0 this will become 0 this will become 0 and d also will become 0 so what remains here 1 is equal to b times of 1 plus 1 square so this is 2 square which is equal to 4 b is equal to 1 by 4 so if i substitute z is equal to z is equal to minus 1 see here in this equation if i substitute z is equal to minus 1 then which will be 0 if i keep z is equal to minus uh, 1 so this will be 0 this will be 0 and this will be 0 only d remains so 1 is equal to see here there is 1 here so 1 is equal to d times of minus 1 minus 1 square clear so this is minus 2 square which is equal to 4 d value is equal to 1 by 4 i got the values of b as 1 by 4 and d as 1 by 4 so in order to get a and b values see again i am going to this equation so in this equation i have to um, expand this one so in place of z plus 1 if i expand this is z square plus 1 plus 2z and if i expand this one like this if i expand z minus 1 square so this is z square plus 1 minus 2z and this is z square plus 1 minus 2z so if i multiply all these and this will be the um, equation so if i multiply that is z cube plus z plus 2z square this is minus z square this is minus 1 and this is minus 2z likewise everything after c also if i multiply this is a z cube plus z minus 2z square plus z plus 1 minus 2z so after splitting this in order to get a and b values i am comparing the highest degree terms so here the highest degree is 3 and if i compare z cube coefficients on both sides see here z cube coefficients on on both sides see here there is no z cube coefficients so this is 0 and the z cube coefficients are see here this is z cube and this is z cube a plus c so the first equation is 0 is equal to a plus c and after comparing z square coefficients on both sides after comparing z square coefficients on both sides see here z square 2 minus 1 so this is 1 1 into a this value is a here in lhs there is no z square so i wrote 0 here and here if you see there is z square here this will be b and here the z square is minus 2 plus 1 this is minus 1 again so this will be minus c and here z square d so this is the second equation on comparing z quotients on both sides see here there is no uh, z quotients on lhs therefore 0 and c minus z so this is plus z minus plus 1 minus 2 this is minus 1 so this is minus a here the z quotient is 2b clear 
and here plus z minus 2z minus 1z so this is minus c clear and this is minus 2d and after comparing the constants on both sides 1 is equal to see here 1 value is equal to here the constant term here is minus a plus b see here minus a plus b and this is plus c and this is plus d so these are the four equations on solving these four equations i'll be getting the values of a as well as c so these are the four equations so already i got b is as uh, 1 by 4 and c and d as 1 by 4 so if i add up one and two equations see this is first equation and this is second equations if i add these two equations and if i cancel c and what remains this is 2a plus b plus d is equal to 0 so b value here is 1 by 4 and d value is 1 by 4 if i substitute i got a value as minus 1 by 4 and again substituting the a value in equation 1 so equation 1 here is a plus c is equal to 0 so c value is equal to 1 by 4 so clear so i got a value as minus 1 by 4 as well as b c d as 1 by 4 so after substituting in this equation a value b value c value and d values are minus 1 by 4 1 by 4 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 and this is the equation so now i am sending this z to other side after sending z to other side see here so this is the equation now applying z transforms on both sides so if i apply z transforms on both sides see this is z inverse of y of z is equal to 1 by 4 times of this is z inverse of minus z by z minus 1 and again so 1 by 4 is common to everything and this is z inverse of this is z by z minus 1 whole square clear and next one this is z inverse of z by z plus 1 and again z inverse of this is z by this is z plus 1 whole square and now see the values are so this value is z inverse of y of z is equal to 1 by 4 times of so since we have z inverse of z by z minus a value as a power n so in place of a we have one here so this value will be already there is minus so this is minus times of 1 power n clear and this value is according to the special functions n and this value is in place of a we have minus 1 this is minus 1 power n and in, pla in place of a we have minus 1 so here this value can be written as minus n times of minus 1 power n and see therefore z inverse of y of z is equal to 1 by 4 times of 1 power anything is again 1 so this is minus 1 this is plus 1 this is minus 1 power n this is minus n into minus 1 power n clear this value is z inverse of y of z is equal to <coughs> 1 by 4 times of this is 1 by 4 times of 1 by 4 times of this can be written as n minus 1 plus this is minus 1 power n this is 1 minus n clear next one z inverse of y of z is equal to 1 by 4 times of this is n minus 1 if i take minus common this is minus 1 power n into n minus 1 so if i take this n minus 1 outside common then see z inverse of y of z z inverse of y of z value is equal to 1 by 4 times of n minus 1 1 minus of minus 1 power n so this can be written as therefore z inverse of z inverse of y of z value is equal to n minus 1 by 4 into 1 minus of minus 1 power n so this is how we have to solve thank you so much for watching if you really understand please once again once again i am explaining you 
so the first thing here is so first of all we have to consider all these equations so for the given equations we have to apply z transforms on both sides and again we have to substitute the values and again we have to uh, substitute the given conditions y0 as 0 and y1 as 0 and after that we have to take uh, y of z common and this is nothing but z plus 1 whole square i'm sending everything each and everything except y of z to other side and uh, z to this side so after splitting or resolving into partial fractions we need values of a b and c d so this is how if we put z is equal to 1 i got b value if you put z is equal to minus 1 i got d value and after expanding and comparing the highest power portion z cube z square z square and after addition so after addition of one and two equations after addition of one and two equations i got b value and uh, after substituting uh, after addition i got a value and substituting the a value in equation one i got c value so this these are the values a b c and d now i am sending this z to the numerator so after sending z to the numerator and applying z inverse on both sides see here according to some special functions this is uh, a bar n and this value is n z inverse of z by see here z inverse of this is z by z minus 1 square is nothing but n this value is n so after substituting all the values here and this is the final answer thank you so much for watching and staying till the end as it is very lengthy one but most important if you really like please subscribe to this channel